hey guys welcome back this is me showing you how i did my hair color uh, from my last video so this is black and orange hair courtesy of overtone i'm using their vibrant orange and rich black for this hair color <laughs> So last time we left off, I was basically panicking over my bleach job going pretty wrong. Um, but now that I look at it, it's not that bad. I don't think this is horrible. This is definitely treatable. I will be updating you guys later on with a protein treatment to see how my hair looks. But this is what we're working with right now. And I don't think it looks that bad, but when I was dyeing my hair, I was panicking a bit and ended up deciding to dye half of my hair orange and half of it black. Uh, my original plan was to do something Healy Williams inspired and if you don't know who she is, she is from the band Paramore and her hair usually was orange or orangish yellow or red and that's kind of what I wanted to do. Here I'm using the color Vibrant Orange and I'm using that on one side of my head. I ended up losing the footage of me dyeing the other half black but I wanted to make note on this video that I diluted the black dye. And when I diluted it, it looks kind of like a dark purple. So I'm hoping when the black fades out, it fades out um, to a kind of like a purplish color. I don't know what's going to happen. I've never actually dyed my hair black before. So we'll see what this looks like together. This will be a journey. But so far, I really like my hair color. And <laughs> in this clip, I think I was actually jamming out to pair more songs because, uh, yeah, that was that was pretty much my inspiration. Man, I like overtones so much. It was really easy to get off my hair last time I used it. So I'm hoping that it does the same thing here. And uh, it kind of smells minty, which is pretty cool. I'm using their deep conditioner tub for this one. And I'll show you what that looks like. Um, I think I already showed you what it looks like. And then as far as the black goes, I'll show you what that looks like as well. The footage of me dyeing the other half black and diluting the conditioner is gone. But basically I did one tub of this conditioner with about the same amount of uh, conditioner. So this is a color depositing conditioner. And then um, I also added in a non-colored conditioner with it to make sure it was diluted. But only for the black part. The orange is straight on orange. So as far as my twist out goes, I'm going to be doing here, I'm using this combination. I've never done this combination before, but I decided to try it out because I was a little worried about the health of my hair, but I also wanted to do a twist out. So I used my It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In with my main choice. Um, I think that says Tropical Moringa Hair Sealing Cream. I can't really tell there's a glare on my screen, but I think that's the name of the products and they worked amazing together. I was so surprised and my hair felt amazing afterwards. This was definitely the combo to go to. And um, my twist out ended up being like so bomb. And I also blame me using this, um, this brush. I'm gonna show you in a second. I've never used this type of brush before. I'm usually like, I'm usually very into the Denman brush, but I decided to try out one from Coiled Crown. And I'll show you what the brush looks like in just a second. This brush made it really easy to detangle my hair. I was so amazed. And it also clumps the curls together really nicely so that I can get that really coiled look at my ends. Thank you. 
it works so amazing i'm very happy with how this brush works and this leave-in combination that i tried out you guys should try it out if you have bleached hair i would highly recommend it uh, so far it's been really good for me but yeah basically what i did was spray the it's a 10 i went in with the brush from coiled crown i went ahead and i brushed it through and then i went with my sealer and that was it i didn't even use any gel this was like it was amazing I'll leave a link in my bio to where you can buy the brush and yeah, in the name of the hair products that I use, but it was really nice. And this is me the next day. I did do a short clip of how I do my bat wing eyeliner if you check me out on TikTok. Um, it's the same name as here if you guys are into TikTok. It's Shantrina's, so yeah, I'll show you how I did my makeup there. So as far as the twist out part goes, my hair wasn't fully dry, but it was dry enough to do a basically a final showing of how my hair turned out. So I took out my hair from the braids and I showed you um, the hair oil that I use. It doesn't really matter what hair oil you use, like olive oil, coconut oil, um, anything would be good. And my hair feels great. Um, I thought I was going to have such a bad time dyeing my hair. I did miss a few spots with the hair dye, but that's okay. I don't plan on keeping the black side black, so I'm not going to re-dye it anytime soon. I want to fade it out um, probably before Halloween if I can. I'm not really sure what my next plans are, but um, I probably will be fading this out, the black part at least. And this is me here just taking it out and singing some songs. I don't know what I was playing at this point, but if you see my lips moving, I'm probably singing something. And after I took it all down, I decided I wanted to do a fro hawk, and that's what that looks like here. Um, again, I'm gonna show you the brush that I used. Uh, definitely worth the hype. This brush has been seen all over YouTube, I think. And the one that I got is from Coiled Crown. Please check them out. It was really nice. And look how, how look at my hair. Like, this is amazing. Look how curly it looks. It looks so good. Uh, the color looks bomb. I'm obsessed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, here's the brush from Coiled Crown. It looks very cool. I'm sorry, this has product in it because obviously I used it, but I just like how it flexes like that. That's just, I don't know, it's fun to play with. But I really like how my hair looks. I'm very satisfied with the results. Um, keep checking back if you wanna see any updates about my hair. I will be doing a protein treatment, something pretty heavy coming up soon. I'll probably do the Afro G2 step. Yeah, if you want to see my other videos, go check those out as well. I need to do a tips on bleached hair again because I feel like you guys have been asking me how I still have hair after bleaching it so much over the years. And I promise eventually I will be making an update video on how I update my hair color and like what products I use and all of that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.